What's up, y'all? It's your man Sky here, aka Big Sky. Uh, doing this vlog series. I've been wanting to do this for a long time now. I just kind of been real hesitant on it, but uh, I'm starting this vlog series. I'm going to be doing a series of vlogs, blogs, the whole nine yards. Um, going to be doing some some major work. Uh, so bear with me. It may be a little, a little, um, a little rusty to start out, but um. We we gonna we gonna we gonna have some good time talking about various topics and, and everything. And if anybody had like any topics, you know, you want to discuss or talk about, you know, you just go to my Facebook page and and you know we'll discuss certain things. Um, Twitter, Instagram, y'all know where to find me at. Those who you know already had access to all of my stuff, but oh no, we just gonna talk about a little music. And uh, it's this thing nowadays, you know, it's 2015, and music has changed so much over the years and you know we don't consume music the way that we used to um you know this all this goes all the way back to the 1960s you know on down to 2015 now um you know back in the day you know a lot of artists of course used a lot of instruments um you know they spend a lot of time more time in the studio and, and nowadays you know artists you know kind of do like you know tracks off of mp3s off of the phone you know so much easier to do music now uh, as opposed to how it used to be you know back in the day when you know the temptations would do music or even the beatles you know would do music so we're in the 2015 now and you know we're talking about the the, the term overrated irrelevancy or irrelevancy, or whatever you want to, whichever word you want to use. So, nowadays, if an artist is, like, really, really good, or really, really hot, I feel like people find ways to say that artist is overrated or overexposed. I kind of think that's the point when you do music. You're looking for exposure. So... I give you the perfect example of, of what I'm talking about. So Kendrick Lamar dropped uh, a classic. And yes, I am calling it a classic. He dropped a classic LP uh, this year to Pepper Butterfly. And it was incredible. Dope album, dope concepts. Everything that you would ask for an artist to uh, to drop in this time, in this day and age, in, in music. You would think it would be, you know, appreciated and people would listen to it and take heed to it. And a lot, like a lot of people did love the album. It got really high ratings in every, uh, every spectrum of, you know, music, um, magazines, of course, Rolling Stone and, and other music outlets. Um, I think it's Metacentric, uh, if I'm getting the name correct. I gave it a 95 out of 100, which is like really, really super high. And, you know, a lot of people marveled at the album. I still have... Kendra Lamar heavy playing heavy on my phone you know it's an incredible album and if you listen to the instrumentation of actual music musicians appreciate albums like that because it's not an album with just trap beats all day which I'll get to that in a later blog but you know everybody's in the trap music everybody's in the you know we want to turn up turn up turn up turn up turn up but they don't want the actual you know album with full of you know with full of they don't want an album with concepts, and that's what Kendrick gave us. Um, you can go all the way down, starting at Wesley's Theory. My favorite song on the album is You, um, and track six, Incredible. So he drops the album. It's incredible. You would think everybody loves it. You know, everybody's ear for music is different. You know, not, not everybody liked The Temptations. Not everybody, you know, like Smokey Robinson and The Miracles. Don't know why, but not everybody did. And so I, I read blogs and I read different, you know, comments that people have. And and people be like, well, you know, I kind of liked it. I mean, it really wasn't for me. It's not my kind of. When people say stuff like it's not my kind of album, that album is not your kind of album. I question, what do you listen to? So the album is incredible. And now, you know, he's on top of the world. You know, he did the Bad Blood record with Taylor Swift. And everybody was just like, uh, okay. You know, it's Taylor Swift. She's a pop icon as of right now. You know, she's the it girl for the pop world, for the pop genre. 
he did he did the record. I mean, I think he did. You know, he did all right. You know, and he he murdered it. You know, it was, it was a cool record. And all of a sudden, the floodgates was open. Oh, you know, he's turning mainstream. Oh no, he's um. I don't know. It, people were just going crazy about, you know, that record. And they did the Classic Man remix with uh, Judith. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. It's a dope record. You know, my, my kids love it. Wife loves it. <laughs> it's a high record. And so now all of a sudden, oh, no. Kendra Lamar is going mainstream. He's he's not dope anymore. He's I'm like, guys, every mainstream artist at one point has had that one record not much so in the 80s you know with you know like with rock him and big daddy Kane and Karis when they didn't really have those kind of mainstream pop records you know even though cool you know big daddy Kane did do some you know some some records that could have played on mainstream radio but you know if you look at big if you look at jay if you look at nas eminem hell dmx 50 um, you can go all the way down to Outkast. I mean, you know, Mob Deep was on a remix with Mariah Carey for her album. So rap dudes did rap on popular records. So now he drops this classic album, and it and I I see it. I hear people say, "Oh, he's overrated." How, what is overrated to you? Is overrated being exposed too much, or what? Because I've been listening to Kendrick since he was K Dot. I still have overly dedicated on my phone, which is incredible. I still listen to Section 80 like it just came out. I love Good Kid, Man City, but I say give to Pippa Butterfly maybe five, ten years, and people will probably put that in their top 15. And if you don't feel that way, God bless you <laughs> because it's an incredible album. But I just question how people listen to music nowadays. You know, albums like that one, you know, the Lupe album that dropped earlier this year, or, you know, J. Cole's, you know, 2014 Forest Hill Drive. I mean, it's been some incredible albums, but I'm, I'm saying Kendrick's because right now he's considered the top dog in the game. And I ask you, what is overrated about him? He spit lyrics, conscious lyrics, you know, at times. He can turn up. Ken Kutz is a turn up record. To, you know, if you listen to the lyrics, it's not really a turn-up record, but you get the point. Um, and he's made other joints, you know, off that album that you can groove to. Um, uh, These Walls, it, you know, it's a groovy tune. Wesley's Theory is a groovy tune. If you like that G-Funk, you know, type of, you know, music, which I do. And George Clinton was even on the record. So, I know this video is kind of long. I'm going on like eight minutes. But I'm going to just basically say... When you say an artist is overrated, is it because he's popular? So in that case, Eminem is overrated. Why? Because he's popular? Eminem got classics. This album will be considered a classic. There's nothing wrong with appreciating good art and good music. And that's all I wanted to, to kind of point out. Um, holla at me. Comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Um... I'll be talking about different topics all the time. So uh, I might hit up sports and talk about deflate gate. <laughs> I, I know people will want to hear my opinion because I'm a Patriots fan. So, but you know, we'll talk probably about sports next and talk about other topics. Uh, holla at me on my Facebook. Y'all know where to find me. I'm going to post this up and uh, we're going we gonna to keep this little, little blog, vlog thing going. All right. I'll holla at y'all. Big Sky. Peace.